गपशप के साथ तो एक कप चाय बनती है मसाला चाय इलायची लौंग और दालचीनी इसको कूट लें उबलते पानी में डालें इसके अंदर चाय की पत्ती और चीनी डालिए बढ़िया मसाला चाय बनाने का मेरा एक छोटा सा राज है ताजे दूध से बना रेनबो इवेपोरेटेड मिल्क इसका रिच और क्रीमी टेस्ट चाय में जान डाल दे ये हुई ना मसालेदार बात रेनबो इवेपोरेटेड मिल्क चाय का परफेक्ट मैच रेनबो टॉप कॉन सीजन टू Presented by Nokia, powered by Audi. Hi, and welcome to Top Guns. I'm your host Shane Phillips. Today, we have a truly inspiring episode. We look at the story of a business that started with just 4,500 Durham investment in a 150 square foot shop. Not your average salt and pepper shack, though. This business has grown to be the Middle East and North Africa's largest spice and foodstuff trading company. It's the amazing story of Dr. Dunaje Datar and Al Adil Trading Company. Welcome to Top Guns. Today we have a very special episode. We have Dr. Dunaje Datar, one of the leading spice and foodstuff merchants of the region. Dr. Datar, welcome to Hello. Top Thank Guns. Hello, good to be here. Yeah, it's a pleasure to have you on the show. We've heard so much about you. You're really one of the big Dubai success stories. You're listed as one of the top 100 most powerful Indians in the United Arab Emirates. And when we look at you, though, I just have to wonder, yeah, you know, what were the early days like? See, I'm born in a small village uh, in Maharashtra. The name uh, of the place is Akola. is a district. It's called uh, Karanja. There I born, and my education is done up to uh, fourth standard. Then I came to Bombay. Uh, then uh, I done other educations. But before you came to Bombay, I understand it was a pretty tough time, wasn't it? Yes. My father was a storekeeper uh, in a uh, Indian Air Force, and that time the salary also was not good, and. When I go to school, I was having only one uniform. One uniform. Yeah. And sometimes in the monsoon. Yeah. And that's the tough monsoon. To uh, when I'm going to school, I was not having even umbrella also. Um, my raincoat was an empty guni. It's called a sack, you know. Yes. Uh, it's a bag. You were the guni bag. Yeah. And I cover my body, and my, I'm going to my school. And uh, uh, when uh, I'm doing studying, that uh, then I uh, use pager. Uh, To dip in the ink, mm -hmm. and we have to write. Dip in the ink and write. Every word we have to dip in the word. Right. There was no. For internet. that ink was costing Indian rupees five paisa. For that ink also I was not having five paisa. I I borrow the ink from other friends. Give me uh, four uh, uh, five drops of ink on credit, and uh, later on I will give you back. So that that was a, that must have a very difficult time, and that my education is done. The times were tough. Uh, what was what was uh, Bombay like uh, at the, during that period? My admission in Mumbai is a municipality school. Mm -hmm. It's a government school. There is no fees there. So I started my education there, and uh, we are living in small chal. The small small houses are there. Um, means uh, the, my life is uh, started from there. Very um, humble beginning. Yeah. So uh, that that was uh, very challenging, and then finally, I think your father left when you were in grade six. Yeah, my father came in 1976 to Dubai when he retired from uh, Indian Air Force, and uh, he joined here in uh, Jabal Ali One Company. Mm, but then I think disaster struck, didn't it? Because the po the port shut down or something like that. No, uh, the the port is completed that time, so uh, the company also was going to. Leave this country because the port is everything complete now. Mm. So what are the staff? What they having employees? They saying uh, you can find a new job. Otherwise you can back go back to your country. 
so my father uh, decided to uh, to search the job but he didn't got the job uh, for 6 months and my father didn't send uh, money to us no job for 6 months yeah so there are a lot of expenses come then there was nothing that my, uh, my mom returned the letter to my father uh, see uh, there is no money what i have to do she is saying uh, you sell your ornaments yeah. so you have to sell all yeah, of your your gold ornaments because uh, that time um, when my mom is selling that ornaments now, it's called uh, uh, Mangal Sutra. And when she sold uh, Mangal Sutra of her, really, uh, for my education. Wow. It's really, really, very, very. See, man is, becomes success later on, but I always remember my old days also. The huge sacrifices. Yeah, because uh, the man never should forget his old past days. Mm. That's the most important. You know, when you were going through this, this was emotionally a uh, tough time for you because your father had, had didn't have a job, mm. and um, so you didn't really know. There wasn't a clear plan of what's going to happen. So he started his own shop. Yeah. So we started. Father, my start uh, from four thousand five hundred dirham investment. One small shop in Bara Dubai, uh, near the Astoria Hotel. It's one hundred and fifty square feet. When he opened the sh shop, then uh, as an employee, uh, I came after two months. My father, when called me, he said a very clear thing to me. See, you have to come as an employee, not as an owner. Are you ready to carry a 50 kg bags on your shoulder? He said, I do whatever you said that, I will do it. Is it still there? Still there, yeah. It's now, still a shop? No, your not shop, 150, no? but it's a little bigger. It's a 1,000 square feet area, uh, the deep. small shop, and the mill area is around 2,000 square feet. Wow. And the uh, go downs, everything there. So you start this one shop, but very soon after you open another one and, and you grow to such a huge size. What is it that Aladil is doing that the other groceries were not? Yeah, uh, when we started this shop, uh, my father done survey. There are a lot of shops, uh, they uh, sell Indian product, but they are mostly from South. But there is nobody was there who sell the North Indian product, East, West, and middle of India. Then my father uh, decided to open an Indian grocery, where the Indian, North Indian food stuff to be sell. We started to sell the North Indian style spices, pulses, the rice, flowers, everything. So people slowly, slowly mouth publicity has become and the Punjabi, Gujarati, Sindhi, Maharashtra and other states, they are uh, coming to my shop to buy this one. Then I started a small flow mill next to my, uh, my shop. Uh, I started grinding spices in that and I'm grinding flow, floors also in that. Then we started to supply the spices to the small restaurants, cafeterias. Then slowly, slowly it has become to, we are supplying to five-star hotels, uh, so in, you're inter, really uh, diversifying. Yeah, yeah, flight catering, then uh, in, industrial catering, ship channeling, everywhere we supply. And we got success in that. Whenever we do business in any country, we have to respect their peoples and they have, we have to respect their culture. That's why we get name Al Adil. Al Adil means good man. Uh, who do the justice of right and wrong? It's called Al Adil. Presented by Nokia, powered by Audi. Around the world, millions of people are switching to Nokia Lumia for the best smartphone photography in low light. for easy wireless charging, and for city lanes to explore the world around them. <laughs> Time to switch. Audi A8.
Rainbow Top Gun Season 2. Welcome back to Top Guns. This is one spicy episode, the success story of Dr. Dhanajay Dattar and Aladeel Trading Company. Doctor, why did you call your company Aladeel Trading Company? See, because uh, my father always says that uh, whenever we do business in any country, we have to respect their peoples and they have, we have to respect their culture. That's why we get named Al Adil. Al Adil means good man, uh, who do the justice of right and wrong. It's called Al Adil, and my all company name, my all shops name, everything is all under the Al Adil name. It's more of a, almost a philosophy of the business yeah. that it resonates through everything you do. So when did the business actually really start to grow? Yeah, I means uh, when I started the small shop. So uh, after six months, eight months, I got very good response, and it is not sufficient the place for shopping and other people. Then we decided to make bigger. So I, we have purchased the next to our shop, little bigger shop. And slowly, slowly after two years, we found that this also place is not sufficient. Then I purchased next to that one more shop and I made more bigger. So slowly, slowly uh, means our uh, business uh, growing. So we decided to open our new branch in Abu Dhabi. After two years, we opened one more branch in Sharjah Rola. There are also people enjoying to shop. Then slowly, slowly, uh, the fourth branch I opened in Karama, Dubai. Okay. And, and so that whole period took eight yeah, years? Yeah. Because uh, there was, uh, I become sick uh, between that period. Okay. The problem was, uh, I mean, sometimes I, I was not taking breakfast. I was going quickly to my office and uh, my lunch, sometimes I take 3.30, 4 o'clock, 4.30. Uh, even my dinner also at night, 1.30, 2 o'clock. Because I'm working too much lot. I'm not taking uh, care of my health. So what happened that uh, some uh, type of uh, acidity started to me. And there is a become light, slightly s a small ulcer in my, uh, my stomach. And in the stomach ulcer. Yeah. And then, uh, but the stomach pain was coming to backside, uh, the back pain. Too much back, back pain that I cannot control th that one, and I cannot work also. Uh, my father told me, "See, you have become sick now. What you can do, you reduce your wholesale business. Come and bring in control because you cannot concentrate in your work." So almost five years I was taking treatment for this, and mentally I, the lot of anxiety and depression is there. So what was the big learning in that for you? Yes, because the time is came, so uh, we have to be a little bit quiet and we have to have some patience. Let it be, uh, the health is good, then I can, later on also, I can expand. So I, I lot of learned that uh, the, everything is not money. The health also the most important in the life. So I take care of my health, I eat on time. And uh, slowly, slowly, after that, I opened Karama, and I got huge response from Karama. And after that, one by one, one by one, I opened Sharjah, Dubai, Abu Dhabi, and I got very good response. Then, uh, so the big growth of the company has come in the last five years. Now. Two years, last two, two and a half year, yeah. What was it like working with your father, working with your father, or living with your father? What was your relationship like? Because my father was a very strict man. You know, uh, when he's angry, he starts too much shouting to me. And uh, because my father, uh, he started the business and what are the profits come, he entire the profit he takes. He was not paying me the salary. He's saying, you want uh, whatever money you, you can take it. Whether 5,000, 10,000, doesn't matter. You take whatever money you want. And uh, one day I decided to ask my father to give me a share of the profit. And I gone in his room, so he was become very angry. He was angry? Yeah. Who told you to come here and why you want? Whatever money you want to take, I never ask you. 
what about go and take buy any car or any uh, clothes any whatever you want you can take any cash he was very angry and very upset on me i gone to room um, and i quiet for some time but next day he came to me uh, okay i will give you profit 50% he was taking 50% uh, i'm getting and the growth my father seen is very happy he say go ahead whatever you want you can do it now you are independent to take all the decision and all so how did you meet your wife i met uh, my wife uh, is a place called uh, pal it's near the satara uh, it's a maharashtra and i go on her home uh, with my uh, relatives and uh, her mom is gone somewhere so she cook some type of snacks it's called pohe so she cooked me and she brought outside and she was talking nicely with me i said this partner is perfect for me dr datar gives me a credit for his success and i am really glad about it but i want to thank god for it whenever i have problem with in, uh, attention in my my business she has given me always confidence to expand business to make grow to your business my in my success the wife is vandana she is the most important so at what point did she make the transition into the business after my father passed away she uh, joined my business and uh, first year in, i got 40% growth in my company wow that's when the business really started growing when yeah. she joined and the next year again 35% growth and the third year is amazing it's 65% growth in there wow so, and she's the big driver of that or she's your secret weapon i yeah, guess yeah she handle all the my financial uh, of the finance she's the finance director of the company so you have two sons are they uh, going to be joining the family business anytime soon yes uh, my son is now in age is 17 and another is 15 but i told him clearly to my children so you have to come in the business but you cannot come and sit on my seat you have to go on in the shop as work as a indoor salesman you have to do the work how i started the from small way you should learn what the difficulties are coming he's actually a cool dad you know for example if i want to buy a new game he'll say fine take it even though he says fine you can take whatever you want he says but you have to do this for example uh, you have to go work in the shop or you have to go do accounting in the office everything depends on how hard you work and how much effort you put into it if you don't put any effort at all you won't get anything and if you put a lot of it then you'll definitely get something back He tells me every day that life is hard no matter how rich how poor you are. Whenever life hits you, you just smile back at it. No matter how rich or how poor you are, you got to work hard and eventually if you're made for it, you will, you know, become rich. No man walks out of his own story. See the businessman is not 100% uh trained we can say. Every day he's learning. I still I'm learning. is required to settle one business and after 3 years it will give you uh, returns to your means uh, the profit and all so be patient that it um, the minimum 3 years is required uh, to settle down your business and slowly slowly uh, you try to increase that one presented by Nokia powered by Audi supported by the intelligent SME official radio partner Suno 1024 and Super 94.7 FM around the world millions of people are switching to Nokia Lumia for the best smartphone photography in low light <laughs> for easy wireless charging and for city lanes to explore the world around them time to switch
पुराने गाने पुराने दोस्त घर की यादें और इलायची चाय उबलते पानी में इलायची चाय की पत्ती और चीनी डालें कुछ देर गैस पे उबलने दें इलायची चाय तभी अच्छी बनेगी जब आप यूज करेंगे रेनबो इवेपोरेटेड मिल्क जो बना है ताजे दूध से इसका रिच और क्रीमी टेस्ट चाय में जान डाल दे इतना सिंपल घर की याद दिला दी रेनबो इवेपोरेटेड मिल्क चाय का परफेक्ट मैच Rainbow Top Gun Season Two. He looks into each and every channel of communication, which we suggest them that whether we should go uh, with this medium of communication in order to reach the target audience. So he studies the entire thing, and then he decides. I mean, the perfect tool because he knows his target audience very well, and that is a you know the secret behind the success of Aladdin Group. You know, since last 29 years. Dr. Dunajay, we all know that your spice shops are peppered all over the landscape of the UAE. But what we'd really love to know is, what is your recipe for success? Yeah. So, see, uh, I like to um, uh, give message to the uh, newcomers uh, uh, whenever they start uh, the new business. So, it's just like a newborn baby. It means uh, you have how the mom is taking the care of the baby. Like that, the business also is like a newborn baby. You have to take a lot of care about your customers, your quality, your employees. The small thing also is most most important. And minimum three years is required to settle one business. And after three years, it will give you uh, returns to your business, uh, the profit and all. So be patient. That it, um, the minimum three years is required. Uh, to settle down your business and slowly slowly uh, you try to increase that one don't be over smart and don't forget your customer be give the good uh, service and uh, expand your business because the customer is the most important i think the uh, i customer is my god for me you have such humble beginnings i love to know when did you make your first million uh, when i started 1984 and the first uh, million is came on uh, Uh, after eight years. After eight years. Yes, yeah. When I started business. Given your background, though, making your first million dollars wasn't your biggest achievement at all. What has been your biggest career win to date? When I got my uh, first award from government of Dubai, the first award gave me so much inspiration that. Slowly, slowly, I started to expand my business. Now, that is my first achievement. Is the most important for me. It's given me the lot of ways to open. Excellent. So, you've had such a growth trajectory so far for the business. What's the future of Ala Deal Trading? Yeah, we are uh, opening many branches now of the retail branches in the even also in the UAE, but in the Gulf countries like uh, uh, Bahrain, Doha, Qatar, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, Oman. And we are planning to take uh, globally, even other countries also, like uh, European countries, American, Canada. So there are a lot of expansion plan. What's been the toughest thing you've ever done? When I opened in export uh, division in Bombay, uh, I thought maybe I'm living in Dubai and it's very difficult to do export from Bombay. How I will see the both the places? But when I tried, uh, I started and it's very easy to maintain, but it was a tough time because this I'm doing here retail, manufacturing, wholesale, but its export is a totally uh, different from India. But uh, but when I started, then it's, it's sort, sort out. Dr. Dhanujay, what do you do when you're not uh, selling spices all over the world? Do you have a hobby? What's your passion? My favorite game is uh, cricket and I like to play cricket. Sometime when I holiday, I going to play cricket. And sometimes I watch uh, cricket matches of India or any other t- uh, country's matches on the television, and I enjoy it a lot because uh, it's my favorite game. That's your favorite game. That's the one that you would watch when you come home from work or you're yes, the weekend yes, off. Yes, yeah. Dr. Dhanujay, thank you so much for sharing your story with us. It's been totally amazing. Uh, such humble beginnings. You could barely afford shoes for your feet, and now we're here in a custom-made. Rolls Royce driving down Sheikh Zayed Road has been such an experience. Thank you so much for coming on Top Guns. Thank you very much. I hope you're enjoying the episodes thus far, but more importantly, I hope they're inspiring you. That's it for this week. This is your host Shane Phillips signing off. When did you first fall in love with spices? 
when I started uh, grinding of uh, turmeric powder, haldi, it's like a turmeric, uh, it's a yellow powder. Yes. Uh, then when I the, uh, grind it the first time, and I'm doing some experiment and uh, checking the quality, the whole body of my become yellow, 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 yellow. Wow. And, uh, I what was year very, was that? Because it's turmeric, it's a yellow color. Right. And that's why it's become whole body of yellow, my clothes, everything. And I'm very happy, but I made the very good quality of turmeric powder for my company.